Last week I put up a poll to see if people wanted to see more Red Hot Knife videos. There was an overwhelming majority who did. So this is my second of three videos I'm going to be doing, then it's back to my usual stuff. Today I thought I'd take a tongue-in-cheek look at the useful side of a Red Hot Knife. For instance, if you like roasted marshmallows and you haven't got a campfire, don't just use your blowtorch to cook them, no, use your red hot knife and cook them straight down the middle. Nice and golden. If you've got an odd number of biscuits and you need to share them with someone, make it fair and just slice them straight down the middle. It can also be useful if you're struggling to open something because you can't quite grip it properly. This Nesquik was over two years out of date, so I thought I'd give it the red hot knife treatment. And I guess after all of that sugar, you might need to do your teeth. This is an old toothbrush which I used to use for cleaning stuff. But if you've realised you've put the wrong toothpaste on your brush, you can use a red hot knife to help you remove it. And it'll still leave you with a few bristles. And if you've ever wondered how they get those nice stripes in the toothpaste, you can just cut it open and take a look. Pretty cool, huh? And finally, if you've had a stressful day trying to figure out what on earth is inside your stress ball, You can use a hot knife to take a closer look. And I might show you how to make one of these in a future video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be launching my final Red Hot Knife video on Friday, then after that it's back to normal. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.